Hello guys. You must be thinking why am I running FIFA in windowed mode? There is a reason. So I actually wanted to share this with some of you who have been going through this issue um, because your PC is struggling to run FIFA 23. I know previously I've never had issues. Um, so I can actually show you like my specs. So I have Windows 10 and then my graphics card is a GTS 1060 but NVIDIA GTS 1060 but it's only 3 gigabytes it's not 6 gigabytes version there is two um, and if you check the minimum requirements for running FIFA 23 for GeForce GTX the minimum was 1050 so I'm just above the minimum but my biggest problem is not even the graphics card it's actually my processor so it's actually the 6600 series 6000 660k or something like that 6600k so that's what they recommend i5 6600 but i have a 4690 um, so i don't know if this is like a bottleneck situation with this scenario um, but i really struggled initially and i was kind of glad that i did not buy the full version yet so i just bought ea play pro uh, which is a great way to try the game and it's really awesome you can do that with PC because it also does not limit you to just 10 hours of FIFA for 3 to 4 days before the game releases um, so um, if you might have also noticed when you start the game unless unlike the previous FIFA uh, when you run it on a PC you don't get that little window which says play settings exit so you go to settings and then you actually change the graphic settings but this time around you have to actually directly goes into the game straight away and then you go to customize on the home screen and you go to settings and it's game settings um, and it's the very last one it's under display configuration and this is where everything happens so basically if you're struggling and you play a lot of FIFA if you don't play as much you just want to have a good experience it's okay to run like select the rendering quality as medium or high not ultra if you don't have the right settings uh, but if you play a lot like me I basically play every day it's almost like an addiction but anyway if you play every day and you play a lot you want your computer to be able to run it and it must be yeah it must be able to withstand it so how to get around doing that you go into the game into settings display configuration game settings display configuration and resolution you stick to what your monitor is mine is a LG wide monitor so it's not 1920 by 1080 it's actually 2560 by 1080 so you pick it usually chooses the right one do not try other ones just stick to your native monitor resolution um, we will come back to the display mode after um, so this is the first thing you want to try so pick the right resolution I think mostly it's, it's already there do not limit it to 30 or 60 do not do that because that creates input lag do not pick uh, just go for no limit on FPS leave it as it is uh, and then dynamic resolution scale I turned it off um, because you can do like oh um, no not doing that yeah because it will change the resolution on the fly which you don't want you don't want your GPU to go through that and the next one is strand based hair it just looks realistic hair it is just like extra graphics and we turn that off either uh, it, we turn that off as well um, and the last one is the rendering quality so initially when I first launched the game it was an auto and I do not know what the computer thought of what it picked I was completely fine when I played against other like when I played against PC AI but whenever I had to play online it was a struggle because it has to like transmit data and then it was struggling with a lot of things sometimes I was also trying to film myself um, so sorry try to record my screen so it just could not keep up then I started changing it I realized ultra is too much so I went for high 
and high was not good enough either then i played with medium for a few days it was so so um, after a while it, i can hear the fan going really loud on the gpu then i went for low which is what i play with now because i play a lot it's okay it's not so much difference it's not like a day and night difference actually when compared to low and high uh, and then with the display mode you can do like windowed borderless which i have not tried oh okay i don't know if this would be okay so there is full screen which is what i had first i played with full screen and I don't know it's kind of weird it is just the same thing what you're seeing it is just like personal preference I guess or it, it it shouldn't make a whole lot of difference but it actually does it unfortunately does until I went to windowed I was not able to play online without any lag or like losing games even if you watch one of my previous videos where I played FIFA moments and I had 24 stars and then I used it towards uh, draft token uh, I think probably why like that game was getting stuck it was not responsive I think that was also to do with the frame rate I limited it to 30p or 60p I thought limiting the FPS might actually help with my GPU processing but no it doesn't um, and then once I went windowed it's been great it does not lag I don't have any issues everything is going great the game's running smooth for the most part uh, none of the online games have been disconnected or like non-responsive or anything like that uh, uh, so there's a full screen which is not gonna work so then there's the window but I do not know what is windowed borderless so I'm gonna try that oh it is just like you don't see it just looks pretty this way so it's windowed but it's still so this is what i'm gonna stick to but you just first of all try windowed and then and then see how it goes and this should help you fix it um, enjoy the game i think the full game released and uh, it's like you, you just have to it's accessible to everybody right now um, have fun with it and I hope this actually helps somebody because it really helped me I wasn't sure what to do and I was just experimenting different stuff and I was surprised I actually thought I need to upgrade my PC or not in a situation to upgrade PC right now uh, with all the expenses and whatever because you got to change the whole board CPU GPU the whole lot RAM everything I wasn't ready for that so I'm really glad this worked out so try this and let me know how it goes. Thank you for watching. Bye.